That's true. Still, my old sidekick seemed to suit me too. The fighting's only going to get worse. And there will become a day when Sis is going to have to become stronger as well. When that time comes, she'll need me. And we are back. Alright, so we took care of our uh, orders yesterday. We still have a whole bunch of attack points left. Uh, da -da 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 -da. All right. So today we are continuing after our uh, big decision point. And this time we have a Evangelion post thing. Ah, hello, Mazen Kaiser, Mazen Kaiser 19 in the chat all right so what have you missed since then actually that was a really good time for those who haven't watched been, been what keep up the stream um quick example of thing, things that we've covered i mean i'm not too familiar with jay um the last super Mario wars game i played was one of the snes titles so a few things we have here so they have a very large cast we have the sub orders ben wants to explain this this provides a quick way to basically give like up to five pilots a fresh level um give them two more kills to as far as anyone who hasn't really sorted in the last mission um two more kill uh two more kills which gets them closer to the thresholds for ace um the proud ace and that sort of thing get extra cash for upgrades and tack points uh tack points you buy use them use those in the factory to buy Various degrees of upgrades, including getting med kits for your uh, for your units, which, by the way, are not expendable. Um, they stick around from um, mission to mission. You can just only use them once, so they're semi-expendable. They're rechargeable, I guess, the way I put it. Uh, additionally, with our uh, protagonist, with our um, protagonist AI nine, we've had a upgrade tree here where you can get special abilities to boost like how much you repair um how many attack points you get how much um extra cash you get that sort of thing um you have a skill tree to upgrade to buy skills to upgrade your characters i basically went through earlier in the session and pretty much unlocked the most of the skill tree as soon as i could um Special, uh, and additionally, additionally, you once you've upgraded um, nine enough, like these become drops. Like she'll just automatically learn special skills as items that you can equip the pilots over the course of the game. Yes, rechargeable is really nice. It's especially good for the ammo abilities as well because some care. I mean. As you remember, some robots use ammunition, some robots use power for their uh, energy for their abilities. Um, and having be able to recharge your um, ammo boost abilities and, and health um, refills are really nice. Uh, customization, remember from the PS4 version, or PS4 with this next version, hasn't changed too much. Upgrading your threshold, you have like five stats here. Um, there are obviously DLC missions because we're in the age of DLC. Um, different robots have different variable slots. Tier, like, like, even, uh, unit zero has three slots because it's also a support robot. Um, I actually dump the flight module. Um, now. Um, what's Shinji's be deploying this time? Nope. Well, we're not in space right now, so we can save that for later. Um, let's give him the Grana Converter, for example. So, like, this boosts his cash and tack points based on focus. Doesn't stack with other parts, but that's okay, because he... 
through the parts that relate to that. Um, pilot interchangeability is basically based on universe they're from. I don't have any one from the... Uh, actually, here's a good example here. Um, Phobia. Um... Okay, never mind. This is going to apply here. Um, so I think if I had the. Uh, this, actually, yes, it kind of does play out a little more clearly during combat. Um, I have a. Um, on my YouTube channel, I, I've been playing this for a while. I'm on like mission mission 29. Um, after the stream, if you feel like going to my YouTube channel at youtubecom slash count zero or you kind of get to see them how this plays out. Uh, it builds up. It builds on these on laying out these all these mechanics very nice and gradually over time you start with a fairly small uh setup like a small array of characters that builds up and with different mechanics and stuff and builds up since then oh one other thing i almost forgot to mention you have a lot more capital ships this game um so we have here like, like right now in the um universal century universe which is kind of a hybrid Universal Century, um, Gundam Universal Century, slash, Mazinger Universe, slash Evangelion. We have Rock Hallium from Shars Counterattack. We have the Nahal Argama from Gundam Unicorn. And then we have this bad boy right here. You have flagships. I I bring them capital ships because it's the space battleship Yamato. It has, it can shoot anything about halfway across the map. And I've kind of looked ahead a bit. And later on in the game, we're going to unlock the wave freaking motion gun. Thus far, it's only shown up in a couple cutscenes. But like, this is the ship from which all spaceships with giant guns that kill everything in front of them. So flagships. Um, we have gone like it varies from mission to mission like um, This mission here has zero base units that we can deploy. I have gone I have had up to three or four depending on the mission so I've had like three flagships and So I've had a situation where we've got like one guy on the other side of the map Who's really hard to hit and there's a ton of hit points and I can get my three flagships in position and just wail on him um, and particularly the Yamato, and it's really satisfying. So, moving on to the game, the game here next mission. This is going to be a more Evangelion heavy mission. We scan a bit ahead. Uh, for those just watching, who haven't watched before, I tried to do the voices. I don't always succeed. So, welcome to Bad Accent Theater. So, yeah, we're in Mazinger territory. We haven't actually spent much time at Tokyo 3 or Nerve. Kind of surprised by that. We basically had uh, the two EVA units detach to um, roll with Londo Bell, who is currently on the run. I'm sorry, Sayaka. I'm sorry I can't help. It's all right, Father. We'll find out the identity of the great Mazinger and Tetsuyas Rugi ourselves. So Dr. Yumi doesn't know either. The Great Mazinger. It's truly a Mazinger of mystery. Thank you for your alliteration there, Amaro. Rest of you scientists are capable of building a robot like that. Especially now that Juzo and Dr. Stroho... Stroheim? I think that's how it's pronounced. Have both kicked the bucket. I know of a, I don't know of a single person who's still alive who can create a robot that's a match for the Mazinger Z. You remind me of the Gundam scientist from Gundam Wing. The scientist who's on par with Dr. Juzo. Same goes for the Great Massacre, but I'm really curious about the modifications to the Massacre Z. Um, this time we're in Massacre. This is this is not related to the Massacre anniversary movie. Um, the Massacre series we have here are 
um, Bazinger Z The Impact, currently available for streaming on Crunchyroll, and um, and uh, Great Mazinger. Um, I believe the original Great Mazinger. Maybe either the original or one of the OVAs, I can't say for sure. Also, we have Shin Gitter Robo Armageddon. Maybe Shin Gitter Robo versus Great Mazinger? I don't know. Oh, yes. Um, Shogeki Zihan, uh, The Impact, yes. Again, currently available for streaming on Crunchyroll for those who haven't seen it, like me. I'm sorry. When they turned the Great Mazinger Z, when they tuned the Mazinger Z at the Photonic Power Research Institute, it didn't have that iron cutter or the drill missile. Which means that the Mazinger must have brought it out in the middle of combat. Yeah, I saw the first episode of Mazinger Z and fans, uh, the impact went on fan subs before it got licensed. And I liked it and never got around to watching the rest of it, and I need to get around to watching the rest of it now. Alright, that'll do it for today's training. Thank you, Ryoma. I want to hit the showers. You guys get this place cleaned up. Ah, it's finally over. That was another tough one, but we're finally managing to keep up with Ryoma's training regimen. Uh, by the way, this is, um, well, this is Hathaway Noah from, uh, who first appeared in Shara's Counterattack. Uh, this is the version of him from, like, from just before, basically, the start of Hathaway's Flash. So this is Noah Hathaway who, had he continued on this timeline, would have probably ended up turning into a terrorist and having to be executed by his father. But he hasn't gone down that road. Hmm. What's the matter, Shinji? Doesn't the current situation make either of you nervous? You have to fight Neo Zeon, and meanwhile are being pursued by the Federation forces. Even so, there are people who approve of and support what we're doing. Photonic Research Institute and the Mithril Resupport Group, not to mention NERV, which is headed up by your father. So we've got support, and then we'll and soon, we'll and soon we'll have all the necessary supplies. Then we can go on the offensive. So, as far as Hathaway's fall, they've touched on it with Tobia um, from Crossbone Gundam, who is also one of our characters. I'll be probably deploying him this mission. Um, but I think, and it, in Tobia's universe, which is also the Yamato's universe, that happened. But because of how things played out here with fourth, Im with uh, second impact, and the events of Shin Geta Robo, are, of um, events leading up to Shin Geta Robo, that didn't appear to happen here. So we'll see. Nerve has apparently helped, facing some serious pressure for helping Londo Bell, being a fugitive group at all. Also, the other universe that we're, which we'll eventually rejoin, has uh, Might Gain, Cross Angie, um, not Marcin's successor, Nondisco, and also Dytarn 3 and Zambok 3. Yes, there is a very wonky multiverse shenanigans. Um... Again, all the more reason to watch, to go to the back episodes and watch some of that because it is it is really entertaining watching these characters figure out the whole multiverse setup. We thus far we have three universes: the New Correct Century, which has um, Yamato, Crossbone Gundam, and F ninety three. We have the AD Century, which has Nondisco, Scundam Seed. Gundam um, Double O, um, Cross Angie, and also Dytarn Three and Zambot Three, um, which has some wonkiness with how they don't successfully fit Cross Angie in there. Um, and then we're in the Universal Century, which has um, Shin Gitarobo, Shin Gitarobo uh, Armageddon. Mazinger Z, The Impact, uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion, and then the Universal Century Gundam series. 
also like we have Amaro with us even though we're post um Char's counterattack because in Axis um with the uh, Axis flash when that happened um Amaro got popped over to the uh, 80th century universe so technically he's the first person to hop between universes not intentionally though Sato well you know Nerve has a huge budget it can do pretty much whatever it pleases so general head of headquarters is already pretty critical of it wow I had no idea still we had a good reason preventing the third impact so they could, really couldn't say much about it. Commander Akari is really good at negotiating this stuff. General Headquarters always seems to roll over. Probably because General Headquarters is currently being heavily pressured by Sele. Father is really is amazing, isn't he? Well, from your perspective, there must be times where it's, where it's hard to understand what he's thinking, but it's good to have him on our side. At least until he tries to pull the trigger on Third Impact and end humanity as we know it, but that's for ways to go, and I don't know anything about that yet. That's probably because why Ray is so attached to him. Well, that and because Ray is a clone of, um, of his wife, combined with the DNA of an angel. So there's that. I mean, Ray from Unit Double uh, Unit Double Zero. That girl getting attached to someone. I can't imagine it. Yeah, I can understand how you feel that. Uh, I, uh, yeah, I understand how you'd feel that way. Shinji, everybody, good job in the training session. This is Bernadette from uh, Crossbone. Sadly, Bernadette did not pick up on how Audrey Bur uh, right away on the fact that Audrey Byrne was basically doing the same thing that she did earlier, except in a different universe and from a chronologically produced later work. I brought a special gift as a reward. It's homemade ice cream. Even as fatigued as you are now, you ought to be able to eat this. Uh, play two? Or, um... Or the plays, or a Bernadette? Play, play two, thanks. Let's dig right in. Also, they decided to do a really good job of making everyone's characters look like they're different... Oh yeah, Bernadette's. Everyone's characters look like they have different art styles. Like, Bernadette is a manga-only character, if we get a glimpse at her again. Um, the way she's drawn and the shading on her character reflects, kind of reflects the fact that she's a character who's never been animated. She's only been a manga character, and it, and it kind of fits there. Two of you made this? Bernadette showed us how. You plan to have Melda help out too, but all she does is sample the merchandise, so we get no boost in firepower from her. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, Melda, she's a gamelin, and she's probably never had ice cream before, so... So the rumor about her taste for earth food and her sweet tooth is actually true. But another helper did come along. Yeah, um... Bernadette is like late 80s, early 90s for the uh, Crossbone Gundam. And the shading kind of fits forth the fact that she's a manga character. Particularly with the little crosshash shading under her eyes. Yeah. And Ray with her signature line. Ayanami. Ray looked like she had some time on her hands, so we approached her. And she was a big help! Well, I heard it was for Akari, so... Don't tell me she has a thing for Sinji. Who knows, that poker face of hers is impossible to read. Thanks, Ayanami. That was delicious. Oh, catch you later, Mazen Kaiser. Feel free to follow the channel to know when I go live. I'll be doing, st doing a stream again on Wednesday. Let me have your... Let me have your plate. Uh, sure. Well, I've got some cleaning up to do. See you later. Oh, by the way, if you're bailing now, stream, um, YouTube channel is youtube.com slash user slash count zero OR. Like this YouTube channel. Pop that in the chat real quick. All right. Okay, that's my channel. Check it out for the back episodes. Oh, uh, Ray, wait a minute. There's enough for us, too. I wish you'd stuck around and ate with us. It's always like that. Gigi, have you ever seen her smile? 
No, but then I haven't talked to her much. Compared to her, even nine is more amiable to everybody. Tose. Did I have some ice cream? No can do, Shatose. It's only for the people who did training. Please, I'll train after I have some of this. Strange, isn't it? Shatose has a real sweet tooth. Girls are like that, no matter how old they get. At least, as depicted in anime, anyway. Is that true, Misato? I'm partial to bitter flavors myself. Like scotch. <laughs> in other words, beer, right? Also beer. I'll tell you, when I first met Nine, she did have the same air about her as that girl. Is that so? I agree. After after all, she's an AI, so she has a hard time showing emotions, apparently. She always had a scowl on her face, and if she opened her mouth, it was to complain or make a sarcastic remark. Oh, that's because Shitose was her partner. Ooh, snap. Do I really seem like that horrible a person? No, not at all. <laughs> You probably won't be able to understand the feeling, this feeling until you accumulate a little more life experience. Surprisingly profound, eh, the adult woman? But nine, she smiles quite a bit nowadays. I don't just see her very often, though. I'm her partner, and I even haven't, and I haven't seen her smile more than a handful of times. Still, Chitose, I bet the reason she can smile and be sociable like that is because of all the things that you taught her. I'm happy to hear about that. Well, also you got to hang out with Team Might Gain back in the new back in the AD universe. There you have it, Shinji. If Ray doesn't smile, you should teach her how, don't you think? I I should? After all, yeah, I'm sorry, I agree. After all, operating an Eva together and all, you might even say that you're partners. Hmm. A warning alarm? Commander Katsuragi, a Federation squad is apparently approaching the Nerve headquarters. You're way too optimistic. GHQ is trying to suppress nerve by force. Boy, we're skipping straight to end of Evangelion. We haven't even had like the other angel attacks yet. Father. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.